Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video. And this one, this is actually going to be something pretty interesting and something that I know no one is actually expecting. This is going to be different, man. And it's going to be something that some people are not going to be happy about. Some people are going to be super excited about it. But check it out. I'm hearing some crazy rumors that sports is actually going to be coming to quid very, very soon. Um, sports is, I mean, they're, they're working on some type of sports deal. That's what I'm hearing. Um, and I'm hearing that it's coming soon. So that had me thinking, um, we already know that BB has secured the NFL. We know this, that we know that in the NFL PA, they 100% confirmed already. We've seen them say that they have the NFL license. We've seen it on different documents and different, like, you know, different posts and stuff like that. So we also know that when it comes down to basketball, we know that there's NBA top shot. So it chances are it's not that. So what could it actually be? Like what would it be? So that made me check out the um the 10 most popular sports in the world. Like I wanted to see what would make sense for um for Quid to actually have and, and what, what would make sense for Quid to secure. So check this out. Number one by far is football, aka soccer if you're in America, you know. They have 3.5 billion followers. Then you have cricket. I mean, that would be kind of, I don't know. I, I don't hear much about cricket, even though it's this freaking popular. That's crazy. Um, basketball, of course, is up there. Hockey. You hear a little bit about hockey. Tennis. Is the NFL really that low? That's crazy. Baseball. Baseball is one. But my speculation, what I believe is the case, I believe that they're going to have the most popular one. I think that they're going to have football. You might be like, yo, why out of all the ones that's popular, why would you think why would you think that one? Because they're the first company in the world to ever secure NFTs already of the space. They they're the ones who have secured it of football already. They secured that already. They've secured it. Like people didn't know this. People are sleeping on this. So I had to do some research. I'm like, yo, what could possibly be coming to this? Like what could really be that big of a deal? Like, 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 what do they do? So, so check it out. Manchester City FC and Anamoka brand subsidiary Quid launch an end of season NFT collection ahead of tomorrow's possible EPL title victory. So as you can see, it made headlines. These NFTs coming to Quid is actually a major deal. Like, and then I, I had to keep digging. You know, I had to check a little bit more. As you can see here, this is Quid's article. Quid actually dropped this article on the 18th. Check it out. So they were dropping, they were dropping these NFTs already. Now let's go and actually look at Quid so we can see how these NFTs look. Because I didn't even know that they had these NFTs there. A lot of people didn't know that they had these NFTs there. And this this is a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal because a lot of different things is coming. And and I honestly want to talk a little bit more about this stuff, but I don't want to flood this channel, which is a lot of quid content. So what I do want you all to do is check out the channel that I'm going to leave linked down below in the description because we're going to dive into a lot of this stuff. I was telling people, I was telling people in spaces, people thought that, oh, oh, Vale is just, he's being paid to say this. He's being paid to say that and all types of stuff like this. When I tried to tell people, I was seeing some potential. I was seeing some promise. I think that some really dope things is coming from quid. When I try to tell people in an unbiased way, they, they always think that I'm shilling something new. So that being said, I'm going to talk about a lot of the stuff that I think coming over on, on, on another channel. So it can just purely be there so you can find all the information that you need to really get up to date with what I have learned since looking into this project. Because I have learned a crazy amount and it's, it's a lot that's making me think that, you know, Quid is going to be a major player in this space. So I'm going to go over all of that. But. Yeah, I just wanted to show you all. I wanted to show you all what what I something huge that I think that I found thus far. They already have this relationship. They've already done this. They're the first company in the world to drop these um these soccer NFTs, these these football NFTs. That's crazy. And look at the price point on some of this stuff. Look at the price point on some of this stuff. Now check this out. Something that's even more cool about it is what are we waiting for on VV? We waiting for signatures. Check it out. They already have NFTs with signatures of players on the platform. The thing is, they just 
they don't no one talks about it they don't get it out there this this information of these valuable collectibles and they're already cards people collect cards like look at this look at this check this out um let me see oh this is the world's most popular uh popular right here this is the one i was looking for look at this so the sports cards the world's most expensive um, sports cards ever sold so sports cards already go crazy look at this the mickey mantle 1952 tops it, it, it sold for 12.6 million this one i don't know his name 7.25 million steph curry steph curry up there already dang 5.9 million lebron james steph is above lebron that's shocking. I mean, they both are are great at what they do. They broke they both OP, but Steph is above LeBron. I don't know. 5.2 million though. Um Luca, I mean, to be fair, Steph is doing something crazy. Like his shooting his shooting ability is crazy. I mean, LeBron is like a a modern day Jordan, a, a modern day. I mean, he's like a modern day Kobe type of thing. It's like Kind of the similar family-ish type of... I'm surprised a Jordan and, like, Kobe card ain't up here. What? That's crazy. Then we got a Luka for 4.6. Patrick um, Mahomes, 4.3 million. Babe Ruth, 4.2 million. Like, look at these prices. You can just keep going down. It's Tom Brady, 3.1. Babe Ruth. How many Babe Ruths up here? That man is legendary, bro. Like, he's really legendary. So, check it out. Look, look at the prices that these cards go for. So they have the cards and they're signed, the, the signature cards, and then they're selling for this cheap right now. And it's an actual NFT. This is these are not stickers. These are NFTs. Now there's not a lot of there's not a lot of attention on the quid platform right now. They're reorganizing things, they're redesigning things, they're trying to make it more attractive. Like this is some of the stuff that I've been told to the team from the team myself. Like they're trying to make the platform more attractive and things like that. So I believe that once they actually make these changes that they're doing, it'll be a lot more easy to tell that they have stuff like this that's just hidden gems. The very first NFTs of, of things like this that's actually a massive deal. But right now we don't we don't really you know we don't really know that they have this stuff. Look at this, the number one one, the number the number one, the first edition, um, out of five hundred is ninety five dollars signed, ninety five dollars. Like look at this. So they have some really interesting stuff here. Like, look at the quality of this. Look at the quality on this, man. Let me see. How do I do this? How do I do this, man? How do I do this? Then it turned the card a weird way. Anyway, y'all see y'all y'all see this quality. Y'all see this right here, man. So you see this? You see that? So yeah, this this is part of why I think that there's a lot of potential here. A lot of stuff that get that's getting overlooked that Quid is doing because. When it comes down to even the the NBA and like, look at this. Like, look at Christian Cristiano um, Ronaldo. Check this out: four hundred and ninety-two million followers, man. Four hundred and ninety-two million followers. Like the amount of people who support um, football is insane. Like it, it is it is absolutely massive. The amount of people. Like, look at this. He got three point three million likes on a picture. Imagine him coming out. And speaking about Quid, imagine him coming out and imagine Quid securing him first off, securing um his um card, and then him coming out and promoting that himself. Instant boost to to everything. Instant boost to the platform by far. Instant boost. So check it out. If they secure another deal like this where it, it is included, and I mean, there's also rumors that another one of these collections might be coming as well. Like they they already have that relationship, they already have that partnership. It, that this is a fact, this is confirmed. Um, and also, I heard that it was something coming soon. It was something sports related coming soon. Look at look at when this starts. Look at when the um World Cup starts, November twentieth. That's coming soon. That's next month. So for this to be coming next month, and for this to be starting next month, and I'm hearing that they're about to start dropping something sports related soon and they have already been dropping sports related things in the past and this is the sports related brand that they have the relationship with it, it leads me to believe that some big things are really going to be coming on the um on the on the fifa front you know the you know th this this is this is massive the, the the soccer front is going to be crazy look at this estimated fans 3.5 billion like it's just it's, it's insane um and look at this like i want to know how much 
um, money these games made, the FIFA game makes off of their packs. Look at this. $267 million, million off of FIFA packs. That's when they open the little packs of cards in the game. None of those are NFTs. They don't own a single one of those things, but it's generating this type of money. With Quid, you're going to actually have ownership over these. Like you actually, you own this NFT when you buy it. You own it forever. But this is what they op open on a FIFA game in the FIFA community, and they don't even have ownership of it. When when the game stops being relevant and the new game comes out next year, you have nothing now. You have to do it all over again on a new game, as opposed to now, these lads, they're actually NFTs. They're on the blockchain. So honestly, if Quid can revolutionize what's going on with this and really really make it known that they're dominating when it comes to this brand, like when, it, when they're dominating when it comes to this type of content, Bro, I, this is going to become a contender for one of the top NFT projects. I know that people like to do all the comparisons to VV and, and think that they're trying to be like, but no, they're, they're really in their own lane doing their own thing. So if this is the sports brand they're talking about, which is really the only one that makes sense that since there's already a history here, like this is why I'm convinced that, that it is like there's already a history here. They already have this stuff. Um, it, it's it's here. You You can go and buy it now. Like, Top sales. Let's see what any sales. Not for twenty four hours. Not for the last twenty four all time. Right here. Look at this. Top sales. Three four hundred dollars. Four hundred. They have stuff selling. This was for four hundred dollars. Three hundred bucks right here. Two sixty. So this is some of the top selling things on the platform. This is some of the top selling things on the platform right now. Some of the top selling stuff from the brand. Let's see. Look at that. Manchester City. Look at all the signatures on. Look at all the signatures on the back, bro. This this is a big deal. This is a big deal, and I don't know how this slipped past so many people, man. But um, yeah, check this out. So if you look at football, FIFA's like like look at look at how huge this is, and then you search something like let's see NBA, let's search the NBA. NBA, look at this. I mean, it's it's up there. It's some relevance, but not as big, right? Not as big. It's not as big at all. NFL. What else we got? NFL? No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. Like for, for for quid, this is huge. Let's see what is this buy. Like what do what does VV have? Like, let's see. Let's see if it compares to Disney. Disney. Disney doesn't come close. Um what else? What else is there? Uh I don't know. Like, let's see, Batman, maybe. Like, actually, Spider Man. Spider Man's a good one. Let's see where where it's ranking compared to Spider Man. What? No way. Spider Man. Um, the Amazing Spider Man film, maybe. The films might be different. Um, no. Um, Pokemon. I know a good one. I know a good one. Basically, nothing. Nothing. Nothing comes close to this. Nothing comes close to this. Like, so. If this is actually something that ends up coming to quit, I think this definitely puts them on the map and makes them a huge contender for um for for this one of this top NFT spots, man. Like this is going to be one of the top brands that we've ever seen. Well, I mean, they're already a contender. Like they it, they already have it. But I believe that more is coming. I think that more exciting things is coming. I'm going to talk to you all about a little bit more of my speculations and stuff over on my other channel. I, like I said, I don't want to bombard bombard you all with all the stuff that I've been finding and all the pieces and stuff that I'm out here putting together. But yo, it's like, it's giving me the vibes of when I first discovered Vivi and some of the stuff that they were doing. It's like, I know that Quid didn't, hasn't always gone about things in a crazy great light, but the stuff that I'm seeing from them, the, the changes that they're making, some of the stuff that they're telling me, some of the, like, cause they're telling me exciting things and it's making me dig a little bit more. And now I'm finding stuff like this, where it's like, bro, like why you ain't tell, like why do you didn't tell, why do you didn't start with y'all had stuff like this? Why is this unknown? How do people not know what you all are doing? And how do people not know how big this actually is in comparison to everything else? So yeah, man, this is, this is massive. A lot of massive things is going on, but um, yeah. And, and also listen, the creator codes that they, they've they given out, the creator codes that they, they've given me, I just know that there's going to be special benefits to it. So when it comes down to whatever big drops are coming out, and I'm, I'm speculating that, that whatever this sports thing I'm hearing about is, I'm speculating that it's this. I'm speculating that it's this. 
there's more than likely going to be benefits tied to those who are using these codes and stuff. This is the whole point of the little program that they're doing to give future benefits to people who come, who join the platform through us, through through the influencers talking about the, the platform. So listen, not financial advice to each his own. You do whatever you want to do. But I'm just saying, if you haven't checked it out, it could be worth checking out. Maybe holding a few things just can, just in case in the future, some benefits, maybe some airdrops. I don't know. I don't know what they what they plan on doing, but maybe some interesting stuff coming in the future. I'm letting you all know now. You all know all my speculations when it comes down to VV. When I said Marvel was coming, when I said all this, like I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I put pieces together pretty good. I pride myself in my ability to do that. So let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Is this exciting? Um, do you think that is actually going to happen? Do you think I'm going overboard and quits not like that? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.